Some countries allow Ukrainian armed forces to fire at Russian territory with their weapons. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Latvia, Baiba Brez, said that Western partners provided Ukraine with weapons with permission to strike on Russian territory. She stated this in an interview with European Truth. It is noted that now Western partners are providing weapons to Ukraine with the caveat to avoid strikes on Russian territory. At the same time, the minister noted this approach can change and is already changing. Already now, there are countries that have already provided weapons to Ukraine without such restrictions, added the head of the Latvian foreign ministry. To a clarifying question, she answered that such countries really exist. Baiba Brez explained that in these cases, the lifting of restrictions was not discussed publicly. Of course, not everything is announced publicly, and it's even better not to say it out loud until a certain time. The main thing is the impact on the battlefield. Because here, there is a choice, whether to talk about something loudly or simply do what is necessary, she explained. The minister is convinced that if there are objects from which Russia attacks Ukraine, then Ukraine has the right to retaliate if these objects are located on Russian territory. The use of weapons is permitted by international law. It will be recalled that the government of Latvia approved the provision of a new package of weapons and drones to Ukraine. NBS anti-aircraft guns and tactical unmanned surveillance systems will be handed over to the Ukrainian military. But Russia's defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, has ordered an increase in weapons production for the war in Ukraine, his ministry said days after the United States approved a delayed multi-billion dollar military aid package for the Ukrainian government. While Russian troops are advancing at key points along the 1,000-kilometer front line, some Russian officials have expressed concerns that the U.S. support will escalate the conflict. Russia slows down offensive near Avdiivka but intensifies pressure on Chasiv Yar. For the first time in several days, Russian troops were unable to advance in the Avdiivka area. At the same time, the Russians conducted slightly more attack in the Bakhmut Chasiv Yar direction than in the Avdiivka direction, according to the Institute for the Study of War. The Institute referred to the reports of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. At the same time, the Russians launched many more attacks in the direction of Chasiv Yar than Ukrainian sources reported. The ISW noted that reports for one day are not enough to establish a pattern. However, the information provided by the general staff may indicate that the Russians are somewhat slowing down the pace of shelling west of Avdiivka, but resuming offensive actions near the town of Chasiv Yar, as noted in previous ISW reports. Since April the 20th, Russian forces have focused on developing tactical success near Ocheretny and Novokalinov villages. However, as of April the 30th, the pace of the confirmed offensive appears to have slowed. Russian military bloggers claimed that Russian troops had advanced 2.7 kilometers wide and 1.52 kilometers deep north of Novokalinov, south of Keramik, north of Avdiivka, in an area up to 1.75 kilometers wide and 1.15 kilometers deep northwest of the village of Ocheritine in the direction of Novolek Sandrivka. Russian bloggers also noted that Russian troops had advanced west of Semenivka and Berdichiv, northwest of Avdivka. The ISW has not observed visual evidence of any of these claims. Russian mill bloggers claim that Russian forces operating near Ocheritine are 13 kilometers from the pokrovsk kostyantinivka highway, which is consistent with ISW's assessed Russian advances in the area, the report says. The ISW noted that fighting also continued northwest of Avdiivka, near the villages of Arkhanhelsky, Sokil, and Solovyov, west of Avdiivka, near the Umansk, and southwest of Avdiivka, near Netelov. According to ISW map analysis, fighting continues simultaneously in many areas of the front. The Ukrainian armed forces have regained some of the lost positions near Kremina in the Luhansk region, but the Russian troops are pressing near Robotyne and in the area of Chasiv Yar. <laughs> Ah, certo.